My next guest is a guitar legend. Uh, apparently he's got more notes than the Bank of England on his guitar. Will you please welcome Dave Edmonds. <laughs> Thank you. Because you've moved away now, haven't you? I did, yes. I'm a weary traveller. It's nice to be back home in Wales. Over really from is. LA Great. just for the show. I think that's a bit showing off. But yeah. there myself, but they were nice to have you. And you brought, well, Mickey G and Terry Williams with you. Yes. When was the last time you all played together? We were just trying to work that out in the uh, in the room. We think it's Christmas at the Patty. 19. Um, Before the war. Who? <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> but just, I mean, just a while back. And these, these boys are good, are they? Because you can, oh, yes. you, you can now favorites. take your pick, can't you? <laughs> so these boys are all right. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Your first guitar, what, well, born in, in Roth? I was, well, no, I was born in Roth. My guitar was born in... <laughs> it's American film. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I was born in Roth, yeah. And, and the first guitar you had? Um, oh, some beaten up The first real uh, good guitar I had was a Gibson 335, which I bought. I took over the payments from a guy in a band, and he wanted, his girlfriend wanted him to buy a car. So I think it was 117 pounds left owing on it, which was a lot of money. And I, I had it insured. I had to get it insured, and it, the, it was valued at twelve and a half thousand dollars. You know, it's like a real old 1958 Gibson 335 dot inlay and all the blonde. You know, very rare item. Okay. So uh, I don't take it out anymore. I just well, that's, just, that's the sad thing about these instruments. They get too yeah. expensive to actually play, don't they? Yeah. So he, all right, you start playing locally, and it, it seems like there's a lot of music going on in those days it in, was. In, in South Wales in general. There was lots of gigs, lots of bands, uh, lots of competition, but we were all mates as well, all good friends. So you, when you played with these boys, first of all, they were all in different groups, were they? You just sort of... Yeah, Terry was in the, in the Dream, the Swansea band, very right. good too. And uh, Mickey was with Tom Jones, I think, wasn't he? Yeah, he's yeah. <laughs> <It's> forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> 
when you went went to record in Rockfield, I mean, people still think I think of Dave Edmonds and Rockfield. When you started off, was it like a super duper studio with the air conditioning? Oh, are you and... kidding? No, it was um, uh, it was the potato loft on a, a farm owned by two two uh, guys, Charles and Kingsley Ward in Monmouth. And uh, it was very basic stuff. It was just two mono machines, no fancy double tracking. Two machines? So how do you so, do it? Then? Well, you had to put everything you could all at once on one machine and then record that onto another machine and add whatever you want to do at the same time. So you couldn't alter the levels. It was not very sophisticated, but that's how all the great records were made back in the 50s and early 60s anyway. So, so you learn your trade there? You were, yeah, grew up with the studio and learned, learned the stuff, you know, how to do it. I hear your knocking sort of came out of the blue, didn't it? Yeah. It shouldn't have been a hit. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no, like well, no. There's no big record company saying, right, this is the, it's a new project, it's a priority, this is the one that's going to make it. You just record it and put it out. No, in fact, the record company, a big record company I took it to, they turned it down. And then I was signed at, uh, at the time with Tom Jones' manager's uh, agency, and I played it to him. He said, that's great, I'll, form, I'll start a label and we'll put it out as MAM1. It was MAM Records 1. So, uh, and the rest is... And then it just went. I mean, it was... The record just took off. It yeah. just... Uh... Now, listening to you rehearsing <laughs> as I have today, it's, um, there's a certain sound that you guys have got together, isn't it? It's... <laughs> I've heard it described as the raka raka. Raka raka. Raka raka. How, it... As opposed to... It's just a little trick. Uh, I got it from Chuck Berry, and uh, Mickey does it well, and... Uh, I don't know anyone else who does it, do you, Mickey? No. no. Just the two of you. <laughs> yeah. uh, we, we can do it together, both. Hey, go on, go on, Mickey. Go on. Are you, One, are you there? two, three, four. Oh, and you that... can do anything from there. Well, if you can do anything, how about doing something without. Can we play as well? Yeah, I insist. What about. <laughs> Crawling from the wreckage. Crawling from the wreckage, Dave Edmonds. Two. One, two. One, two, three, four. <laughs>
gonna ask everybody to come back on now. Is Bonnie there? Howard Jones coming up? Tony and Tim? That's just about it. It's snowing. It's the end of the series. Hope to see you next year. Take it away, Dave Edmonds.